Uh, New York already has some of the strictest gun laws in the country, but Governor Hochul wants to make them even tougher. Today, she is unveiling new legislation designed to stop dangerous people from getting deadly weapons. Eyewitness News reporter Sonia Rincon has more. New York already has some of the strictest gun laws, and so many of the guns used in crimes here in the city aren't even purchased in New York State. But the one used in the massacre in Buffalo was. And Governor Hochul is vowing to close loopholes in an effort to prevent what happened there from happening again. The assault style rifle came from this gun shop in western New York. The owner of the shop says the sale was legal, but the 18 year old white supremacist charged in Buffalo could have been barred from legally buying a lethal weapon. This individual, uh, Mr. Genron, was uh, made a statement last year and it was addressed by local police and he was in a hospital for psychiatric review. We have something called a red flag law in New York to prevent him from either possessing a gun or buying another gun. That apparently was not done. The existing red flag law simply not enforced, according to experts, including former NYPD chief of detectives Robert Boyce. Peyton Gendron apparently noted in his online writings that he averted getting red flagged after making a threat at school by claiming it was a joke. One proposal from lawmakers in Albany already in the works would allow the state to conduct its own background checks instead of deferring to the FBI. Another would improve training for gun dealers on record keeping. Another would require local law enforcement to report recovered weapons into a federal database. Governor Hochul could propose additional measures, but yesterday in Buffalo said state restrictions on guns can only go so far. That's why we need a national gun policy that's common sense like we have here in New York. We need this everywhere. Back in January, the governor announced a new state office of gun violence prevention. Today's announcement here at her Manhattan office was already planned for this week before the shooting in Buffalo.